Okay, good students, Dr. Ramos again. This is the last overview, <clears throat> and this is part three, July 17 to 26. You're going to be covering burglary. You're going to have, have writing exercise related to that. I'll have a, a lecture for you in here, robbery and extortion lecture, including a writing exercise, uh, a theft and embezzlement, and then uh, narcotics and drug violations you have to read that in the book once you take a look at prop 47 and the changes that occurred november 4th 2015 and then lastly you'll have a part three exam with with a um case brief the last things that you have to do is part four which is your final exam and i'm going to play a number of videos for you and the videos will um, be uh, embedded into the test. And we will, um, I'm not going to release those yet, but I'll embed those into the test. And there'll be four videos, and then you will be given questions. And so they're going to be fill in the blank type questions that you will be involved in and um, they'll I'll, I'll give you an appropriate amount of time probably about uh, 30 minutes to take this and it's going to be very similar to the written exercises so I'm going to ask you about what the actions are <clears> of <throat> the suspect what kind of crime how the actions of the suspect interlace with the crime that you're trying to charge the whether or not it's a misdemeanor or a felony, and then what type of intent. So make sure that you're, uh, you have your model penal code and you're ready to go with that. That's basically it in the class. The other thing you can look at here real quick is grades. You don't have to call me and ask me what's going on with grades. Here are your grades. And if you look in the syllabus, you'll see what the, break, the, the breakdown is. You not need 900 points to get an A. 800 for a B, 700 for a C. So students who want this to count toward their major or transfer, you're going to need to get at least 700 points in the course to make it work. If you look at the syllabus, which is um, under the course materials, under content, you'll find it right here. you'll be able to look at the breakdown and see what's going on. So there's about 165 points more than what you need to get an A, which is 900 points. So don't waste those, meaning that if you don't do certain assignments, particularly the, the case briefs and the chapter exams have the most, um, the highest scores attached to them after that's the writing exercises. So if you're fiddling around and you don't get those things done, uh, you're going to be in trouble. So make sure that you're looking at the things that have the most numbers, like the exams and the, the, the case briefs, and then finally the writing exams. There's some discussions in there, pretty simple, but they help me validate the SLOs, the student learning outcomes, make sure you know what's going on. So hopefully you have enough in here. There's info on how to write case briefs, on the writing assignments of what I expect, a little background on myself, and you got my phone number. It is right here. Um... And I'm available for your, uh, for you to text. I would text me first, and from there, you know, we can we can talk and try to solve any problem. But always come to me early, so I know what's going on. Another tip is up here in the upper right hand corner. You see my name is, and it says notifications. That's what you want to set up for yourself, because you could set up notifications, and make it possible for you to be able to uh, attach your phone number onto your uh, course. And then be able to decide what you want to be notified on. Like some of the things that I would be careful about is say that, you know, a quiz is two days away. Or that a Dropbox is two days away from being um, due. So that it, it texts you and the system texts you and reminds you that you have things that are due. Really super important, folks, to get back in and make sure that you are creating a calendar using these due dates. So you know when things are due. 
And so, you know, when your quizzes are due, I mean, that's the way to be responsible and that's the way to be successful in college is to really have your time management skills honed to where you're able to do what you need to do. So, good luck. This is a really quick course. It's six weeks. You can do it. It counts for transfer to CSU and it counts here locally in the degree. And this is a foundation for what you need to know to be in a criminal justice career. Good luck and make sure that you get a hold of me if you need anything.